Today, I'm going to be talking about how to manifest shmoney. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm not going to keep saying that. Like, that's so not me. So not me. Welcome to my YouTube channel. First things first, you know, obviously you have that desire that you want more money in your life because you just aren't satisfied with the amount of money that you have in your life. You need to know exactly what you want. You need to know the exact amount of money that you want. It could be a large amount just at once. It could be weekly, monthly, yearly. You just need to know the amount of money that you want. In order for it to work out and for it to go the way that you want it to, you need to be grateful for the money that you already have. I would assume that most of you guys have a job, even if it's a low paying job, you have a job, you make money, and you need to send out the energy that you are truly grateful for that money. Are you? You better be. You better be hella grateful for the money. You cannot complain about the money that you have because you have money in your pocket, okay? Now say you don't have a job, you have no source of income, you just got some change in your piggy bank. You still have money. Change your mindset to being grateful for that. Be like, oh my gosh, I have money. Literally, train yourself in a way to just kind of act more like a kid. When you were a kid, you got excited about the smallest damn things. Remember that? Like, you were excited about the stupidest things, right? You need to get back into that in a way. For me, say I want to make $10,000 every month. Every time I find a quarter on the floor, I freak out. Like, I'm not even playing with you guys. I flip out. I'm like, oh my god, I just found, I just found $25. Like, I affirm that into the universe. And I'm not even playing. I make money in the most random ways just because of that. You know, I still have to do some work here and there. Because I like cleaning. For some reason, I like to clean. I don't get it, but I do. And a lot of people that I'm close with know that. And so people will just randomly hit me up. Hey, Tori, I'll pay you 50 bucks to clean my room. And I go in their room and it's not even fucking messy. It's literally like, they just got some clothes on the floor, got some trash to throw away, gotta wipe down some surfaces, that is it. And I just made 50 bucks, okay? That's because I just sent out to the universe that I am so grateful for the money I have now. Literally, if I find a penny or any type of change on the floor, I'm not playing, I get excited. I'm like, oh my God. I think of that as a sign from the universe that I'm only getting richer. You need to change your mindset into that. That's awesome. That's the best thing that you can do. Because you're sending out the vibrations to the universe that you do have money, that you have more than enough money. The universe always says yes. The main point about that is if you are asking for more money, but the reason why you're asking for more money is because you feel lack of money, that's not good you need to just change your mindset into just be excited knowing that it's already yours anything that you send out to the universe it comes back and you will get it you just need to have the right mindset that's all it is is just the right mindset and if you go into it trying to manifest money and you just the entire time you feel lack like you don't have enough money and you're waiting for this money you're like oh my gosh when is it gonna be here it's not gonna come to you and trust me I know because I'm just not getting this shit down. Finally, I'm starting to make money because I literally just randomly affirm that I have money. I say you're an artist, you love to write, sing, whatever it is that you love to do, dance, whatever. You need to do that more often. You don't get that which what you want. You always get a reflection of who you are being. Whoever you are today, how your life is going, it's aligned with who you are. It's a reflection of who you are. To a lot of people though, it sounds really discouraging. Like, all you have to do is change it. And part of who we are is the action that we take. So like I said, say you love writing, you need to write. You need to act like you're already a writer. You need to act like you already make millions of dollars from this book that you wrote. You need to act like you already dance with Beyonce because you need to dance like you dance with her on the damn stage. You know what I'm saying? Just be what you want to be now with what you have now. I'm doing YouTube. I do not have the lighting. I'm literally using a desk lamp, this weird lamp. I don't have that nice lighting. The camera that I would be using for YouTube, I'm using my phone. And I have this really tiny tripod. I'm so grateful for everything. I'm very grateful for these things. Let me just say that really quick. I'm so happy that I have these things and I can make these YouTube videos. I'm working with what I have now and 
that's so important. You're not gonna get anywhere if you don't at least work with what you have now. You need to just do that and you will go further. Obviously, you're not just gonna get money like randomly handed to you by strangers off the street. You're trying to manifest money with something that you can do. So your action with writing or singing or dancing or art, you need to make sure you're doing those things in the middle of you trying to manifest this money because first of all, it's gonna add a lot less resistance in the process of you manifesting this money. Because you're not really thinking about it, you're just thinking, okay, I'm working my way toward this money. I'm getting closer and closer every single day. I'm not saying, you know, you gotta do it all day long. You just need to dedicate your a specific time to doing it. If you truly love it, you're not gonna have a problem with doing that. Do not have Netflix or YouTube playing while you're doing this. You can have music, duh, of course, but when you're doing the thing that you're supposed to be doing, like writing or whatever, don't have distractions around you. One thing that I learned from Bob Proctor, he used a really good example, is when you're focusing on something, you need to focus on that one thing as much as you can because say you have a magnifying glass and it's sunny outside, beautiful day, and you have a piece of paper on the ground and you get the magnifying glass and you shine the light directly through the magnifying glass onto that piece of paper, that paper will burn. It will go on fire and it will burn and it will but say you just had the piece of paper on the ground and the sun was shining. The, the paper is just gonna be chilling. It ain't gonna be going anywhere. Because you focus so hard on that piece of paper with that magnifying glass, you got the damn job done. You need to focus on that one thing as hard as you can, okay? If you wanna be an artist, draw, paint, do what you love to do. Don't do other things all at the same time. You gotta do it and you will eventually make that shmoney that you want. When you're taking action with the things that you want to do, you're aligning yourself with the person that you want to be, the, the, the best version of yourself. You need to align yourself with that person. Imagine that you are that person while you are doing those things. When you take action, you're aligning yourself with that lifestyle. You're aligning yourself with that reality that you want to experience. You're just getting closer. You're telling the universe that that is who you are. And it is saying, yes, honey. Yes. While you're waiting for this money to manifest into your life, as much as you can, every single day, at least, I don't know, I do it as every single time that I can remember, which is like 25 to 30 freaking times a day. I put myself in that state, in that reality of, holy shit, I'm rich. Like, I literally get excited. I'm like, <gasps> like, you have to put yourself in that place of, you are rich. You have everything that you are wanting. You have everything that you want. You have it all now. Feel, generate that feeling inside of your body. How does that feel? That feels damn motherfucking good, don't it? It feels great, don't it? If you want to attract a specific person or money or anything like that into your life, imagine a moment of experiencing that lifestyle. Just imagine. Really get into that. Just think about that. Like, oh! lit that's so dope because you know obviously in that that time frame of your life where you have all those things because you manifested it obviously there's gonna be an emotion tied with it right that's excitement that's freedom because you know when you're sending out the vibrations as much as you can of that feeling you're like I keep saying you're telling the universe that that is who you are like I keep you, you are aligning yourself with that person that you want to be. That only makes sense. I remember when I first learned about this shit, I was like, how did I miss this part of, why am I just now learning this? I'm a whole last 19 years old, and I am just now learning this off of YouTube. YouTube, if you keep feeling sad and lack, and you don't have enough of this or that or this or that, the universe is gonna continue with that feeling for you. It's gonna, it's just how it works. So you need to boost yourself up a lot during the day, a lot. And not only is that gonna make your manifestation happen, but you're going to be rewiring your brain at the same time to just be a happier person in general. There's like freaking 20 million benefits to this. Say you wanna start doing this manifestation thing tomorrow. You have the exact amount of money that you wanna manifest. You have what you wanna use it for. By the way, I do recommend like writing it down, but just don't be attached to it. One thing that is so important is you can't be attached to the outcome. Keep in mind that you sent that out into the universe. So the universe knows, the universe is working 24 seven. The law of attraction is working 24 seven, like completely. 
and um fuck I don't remember what I was saying can y'all help me out I don't remember what I was saying oh yeah you need to not be attached to the outcome because if you're attached to the outcome, ch chances are also a little higher that it's not going to work because you're so focused on, oh my gosh, when is it going to come? When is it going to come? No, no, no. You're not supposed to really know when it's going to come. You're just, you just need to keep in mind that it's going to happen regardless, just as long as you keep your positive vibes high. Keep your vibrations high. Do not hang around people that are negative. Always talk about lack. No, you need to keep yourself away from them as much as you can. Every single day, all day long, just every time you even remember that just be like oh it's coming like god has a plan god has a plan everything is divine everything in the universe is divine but god has a divine timing it will come to you at the right time that's a fact it will come to you at the right time your only job is to do what you love focus on what you love the most because you want to focus that light on there, nowhere else, and then your life will start unfolding itself. Just get excited about it as much as you can. Hype yourself up. I know you know how to hype yourself up. You gotta hype yourself up. I hype myself up all the time. I'm just like, yes, I'm gonna be rich. YouTube, my YouTube video is gonna pop up. It's gonna pop off. I have no doubt in that at all. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I. I am just so happy that I'm actually being able to talk to you guys about this because not only is it helping you, but it's really helping me kind of engrave this into my subconscious mind. <laughs> it's like I'm actually getting smarter from this, so this is hella dope. I'm really excited for your guys' journey and I really want you guys to tell me about your manifestations, about what you're trying to manifest. I love you guys and I'm gonna love you guys more and more each video. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful day. I love you. Subscribe to my channel if you liked it. Like my video as well, don't forget that. And um, yeah, I love you, bye.